Hmm, Piper. Hey. You say the word. Ooh, you got a minute? For you, Piper? Two minutes. Hell, maybe even two and a half. Oh, uh, great. Weird, but great. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head and... I'm sorry. What you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Hmm, sarcastic or she likes sarcastic, so. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. <laughs> That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation. What's going on in the site? Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. Some people find Piper annoying and she's very, you know, justified. She's, um, she's a vigilante and she's a reporter, but a lot of people give her shit in Diamond City. So she doesn't have many friends, so that's gonna... Uh, I'm sure it's nothing personal. Maybe not, but the result's still the same. Or it was, until you came along. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. Oh, Piper. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... <laughs> Being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. <gasps> oh yeah, romancing Piper. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean... <laughs> Well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you yes. that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? Aw. Um, <laughs> seen the worst already. Is it so hard to believe um, that someone could fall for you? Well... No, no, but I don't exactly feel like you've seen me at my best thus far, Blue. I mean, how many relationships established in a hail of gunfire actually work out? Would you really want to end up with someone like me? <laughs> you don't need to be flawless, Piper. Yeah, come on. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. <laughs> well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. You have reached the highest level of affinity with Piper. You have gained the gift of Gap Perk. Yeah! And also we can remind multiple people, to be honest, so... This means I can go focus on someone else. Oh my god, it sounds like I'm cheating on her. But Piper is so sweet. She's so cute. And I like it when she calls us Blue. It's like such a cute nickname. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
blue. It's so personal. I want to talk to her more. Sleeping while you have... Uh, ooh, lover's embrace perk. Piper. You've got my ooh, sleeping together. Attention. Your thoughts? Nothing stays hidden forever. Um. Not if I have my say. Are things all right between us? Honestly, I feel a <laughs> bit guilty. Why should I get so lucky when so many folks have it so hard? But other than that, I'm great. Hmm. Nothing else. She's for now. so okay. She's so amazing. Yes, Piper's my bay. Bay, we're forever together. Killer and reporter. Forget my wife, she's dead. And I don't give a shit anymore. Needed a Sean. <coughs> now we can introduce Welcome, you to my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Oh. oh I forgot what's the um Mine is in the shop. <coughs> <You? coughs> I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends. Yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. Um, no one likes delays. And we wouldn't want to keep anyone waiting. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... So, I just need to wipe out a few raiders. Done. <laughs> I like you already. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn... We can do this tonight. See you soon. Girl could get real comfortable in a place like this. God, I love her dialogue. So sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm is just my thing. Um, right. Hey there. Nothing to report, sir. Doctor. Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. It was bad enough when Wallace reacted so poorly to our arrival, but then Gunners? I was not prepared for that. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Hmm, why is this guy so important? This does seem like lots of effort for just one man. Look, if things were different, we might not be here. Not now, at least. But with the situation in the Commonwealth being what it is, I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. 
I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. Hmm. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Mm. <laughs> so many <laughs> bad, um, so many mean choices. Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Yep, we're gonna pay him lots of money. If that's the case, I need some of my charisma equipment. Um, where is? Yep. Woohoo! Charismatic. So charismatic wanderer. Woo! Looks like a I look kind of like a reporter or something. And I also let's just make sure we can get him. Ooh. Cool. What else can we use? Um... I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? <laughs> um... Oops. Hmm... I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. You're not stealing my organs, or <laughs> shooting me into space, or whatever it is you do. I won't let you. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Um, ooh. Calm down. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, okay, that fine. What do you want from me? Um... Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help? The Institute? But aren't, aren't they... you... I'm, I'm... the bad guys? You feeling alright? In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere. That's else. very convincing. Um. Yeah. You'd be helping us create a better world. That. That sounds good. Piper, what are you doing? Okay. Get out of the way. Fine. <laughs> I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. Ah. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hmm. Screw you, why would I say that? You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. Um... I'll see you back in the Institute. <laughs> would you guys kill him if he said no? Busted. Busted. Um... Any news from the Institute? Z1's recruited more synths. They're making weapons now. That's great news. As soon as Z1's ready, let me know. It's all coming together. Desdemona. Anything to report from the Institute? Give me the details on the Institute assault. Those details are still being ironed out. The biggest question is what to do to the Institute itself. Pam believes their destruction is absolutely necessary. But the Institute isn't just populated by diabolical scientists. Families live there. Children. If we destroy them, we're going to evacuate more than just mm -hmm. this. But those that can't or won't evacuate would die. It's something each one of us must come to terms with. Yes, so. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not so. There you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. 
Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. Right, because no one up there suspects the Institute exists. This is not a joke. There has been too much posturing by too many groups. The world needs to know that we are in power and the Commonwealth is ours. As the incoming director, it is your responsibility to lead, to establish that place for the Institute's future. Please take this seriously. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. How do I even start the next real quest? Uh. Okay, so I'm facing a bug here. I think a lot of people are having this problem. So I, I'm supposed to do two quests, which is um, which I've already done: the mass fusion and, and one of them with um, the institute. But the quest is not starting, so I'm going to complete it using this command console, so... You know what, if this is the case, I'm just going to go with the Institute's, um... The Institute's path. I'm what so I tired of this? trying to make this work. I, I've been trying to find... I've been trying to find ways to solve it on online and I just can't, so... If you could, yeah. please finish up the speech. We'll need For years now, before we go you have further. suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. Mm. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor. Ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... ...personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... <laughs> ...unnecessary difficulties yeah. for all parties. Rest easy. Know that the future is... Um... Looking bright. And that mankind will thrive under our guidance. That sounded good. Well, that was... Interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended. But it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? Oh my god, does this mean that everyone will hit us? There must be someone else you can send for whatever this is. We don't have any other reliable above-ground operatives. And the locals are somewhat familiar with you. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast. We need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Cool. So, just save it here just in case. Well, I guess I'm following the um, Institute path. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the real one. It's so annoying. We are honored to love you. We have a problem. Olive Pendergast. We need to pray for her. Amen. Amen. But we also need to get her the hell out of here. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the whores and the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. It's so hard because they keep doing it over and over again. Shaka bra. His breathing is so God, stop teleporting. Where are you? 
Oh yeah. You changed his looks. You trying to hide from me? Ah, you failed. 